to EC Live, and I'm your host, Jack Skywalker. So this week, we're gonna start with a very stupid question, because why not? <laughs> so Matthias, would you rather get $500,000, or would you rather have your friend get $500,000? And you cannot share that money. Matthias, the friend is me. <laughs> I think I would take it all for myself and not share anything at all. Aiden. Okay, so the obvious answer would be give it to yourself, but I would give it to my friend. Not Ooh. because I'm a generous person, but because <laughs> but because if I received magically received five hundred thousand dollars in my bank account, I would get flagged by the IRS. <laughs> so instead of me getting flagged, my friend would get flagged and I would be able to just take their money. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Yu. What will you do? Me? Hello. Yeah. Give me the money. Yeah. Yeah. Give, show me the money! <laughs> so I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times by now. But the reason that we can still be here today in person is largely thanks to our teachers and the sacrifice they made. So on EC Live, we would like to take a few moments each week to appreciate our teachers. And our first appreciation goes to Miss Van Slot. So take it away, Jack. Thank you, Mrs. Van Slot, for loving me and showing me that uh, I am matter to you and uh, for willing to listen to me when I need to talk. You are amazing. I need you. Thank you. Do you know that there's literally a hundred days away from graduation? Wait, what's that, Mike? Oh, 105 days. Wow. Anyhow, that is scary, especially for seniors like me who have no clue where we're going next year. I apply to like 30 schools, by the way. Wait, I'm not supposed to tell you that. So obviously the seniors has learned a lot over the past four years. So I wonder what kind of advice they would give to other classmates. So this week, we are going to start with Michael. I would tell underclassmen to spend your time in high school focusing on trying to figure out who you are rather than trying to be the person that other people want you to be. Um, it's really important that during this time you really focus on who you are because at the end of high school you have to make a lot of big decisions about like who you are and what you want to do. So it starts with figuring out who you are now so you can uh, move from, from there going forward. And just trying to please other people is not going to do that for you. I'm Matt Vanderwaal. I'm Tahila. Hi, my name is Chris Caparis and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm also a senior and I've been here since freshman. Question number one. Never have I ever spark noted the entire summer reading book the night before. Have not. Gotta do your reading. I've read the whole book in a night before. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all paired it with the smart one. I'm gonna look stupid now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think I did that for like, oh, Frankenstein. Yeah, I can never really truly appreciate Frankenstein. Every last one of them. Yeah. <laughs> never have I ever finished the entire quarter project or term paper the night before it was due. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> well, let's say I do my best work when I'm crying at 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever finished an entire quarter project the night before. Oh, I did that last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, countless times. Yeah, I was, I don't have a I was up till one in the morning. You should have a say. Never have I ever got dress coded. Oh man, it's it winning this. Alright, don't ask me to elaborate on that one. <laughs> Never have I ever broke something in the house. I'm blaming on my siblings. Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably. I can't give an example, but 100%. Everything always gets blamed on me. Um, <laughs> well, I can't think of an example either. Never have I ever asked to go to the bathroom, but I actually went somewhere else. <laughs> You're kidding me? What? Have you never no, I never have. Are you, you ha kidding me? For real? I really haven't. You need to get out more. <laughs> Alright, Matt. Thanks for making us all feel nice and guilty. But honestly, don't speak class. Anyhow, this week's shout-out goes to Nino Mana and Lauren Sly. If you're not be in next week's shout-out, all you have to do is go to ectime.org, enter your email, and click subscribe. And you can find this video in today's announcement and to re-watch it as many times as you would like. 
And also, I dare you to like and subscribe to this video at the same time. Try it. Honestly, not many people can do it. I'll see what you can do. Also, yes, I'm not done yet. Don't turn me off. Don't turn me off. I would love to feature you in our future videos, regardless if you are in-person student or remote students. Doesn't matter if you are freshman, sophomore, or junior. All you have to do is pitch me an idea. I would love to hear from you. And with that, I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace. Thank you.